good evening to all of you welcome to the stock darbar session i hope my audio is clear and you can see the nifty chart on the screen just couple of comments that will be fine to confirm Okay, great. And yes, uh, do not turn on your videos. So, as you guys know, like uh, we will be starting with the broader market, uh, how it is doing, how the indices are doing, and uh, some macro news or something that is playing, right? And after first ten to fifteen minutes, we will jump to your questions, and uh, that is when the chat box will be open because. what happens that sometime whenever we are discussing the initial parts and there are a lot of questions that come up during that part and we that get missed and you need to scroll a lot of uh, up so it becomes very difficult to get the question so we will turn on the chat box only after first 10 to 15 minutes when we are done with the initial part and then as you know i think 80% of the time is for you you guys your questions and then we will proceed ahead with that so guys okay, i think it's already 4:33 and uh, we can start today's session well let, let's wait for 30 seconds more i think few people are still joining in okay so let's start so as you can see on the screen it's a nifty 50 chart so past few days moment i think if you yes almost nine sessions it, it has been a, in a very tight range you can see on the higher side 17 300 on the lower side 16 800 so that's the broader range but in that also nifty is trending in a very narrow range so what happened if you can see over here see there was a gap down opening right at this point of time so after that gap down nifty is trading in a very tight range and see the black line over here is the 200 day moving average and the green line is the 21 ema the red line is 50 dma so almost all the lines are very close to each other and the other one the other pink line is 10 ema so if you can see all the four lines are very close uh, to the current level and uh, nifty is oscillating around its key moving averages around 250 21 ema so there is no clear support or clear resistance as far as the moving averages are concerned but if you consider it plus or minus 1% from that moving average level then yes it is now the matter to worry is the distribution day so currently we have a six distribution day on nifty so that indicates the <clears throat> clear weakness in the nifty so those who are new in this uh, markets with uh, stock darbar distribution day is when this nifty is down more than 0.2% on a volume which is higher than the previous session theek hai 2.2% se zyada ka fall hota hai और वॉल्यूम प्रीवियस सेशन से ज्यादा होना चाहिए वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग लो है अराउंड दो तीन बार सपोर्ट मिला है अगर वो ब्रीच होता है मार्केट स्टेटस टू डाउन ट्रेंड so the us market and other many other global market have been already shifted to downtrend by william o'neil and yes we are on a verge of doing that but uh, nifty is very volatile in a small range so let's see how it plays out we don't want to be hurry in downtrending the market but one more distribution day or breaching of uh, 16800 level will be will give us a clear indication that yes the market is now going towards the downtrend so on the macro side there are a lot of news 
one ongoing thing every time is the russia ukraine crisis but market has digested it a lot so it's all more almost two months or one and there is no, no result and the things are going like way so what problem is due to that ki inflation natural gas ka bhav bad gaya crude gas crude oil bad gaya so these all is now playing in the market so the inflation in the europe is high us high india is high right and recently the fed chairman indicated some 50 bips hike in the may meeting even there are a lot of talks that rbi might also reconsider its stance and they they might go for a rate hike as the inflation is quite about the comfort zone so that's what finance minister also discussed in the last week when when she was meeting with uh, some of the media persons as that we are about that comfortable level but if you compare globally we are not that higher but anyways like uh, this low rate is not that sustainable uh, as far as you compare it with the inflation other thing like you all know the lic ipo is coming in the next week and uh, that will be one of the biggest in the indian market around the price band of around 900 and they will be raising more than 20000 crore in one in the first tranche so that is one of the biggest ipo in india now technically if you look uh, we want to hold around this level or maybe go higher from this so 16800 is the bottom line that what we can consider as of now and if nifty remains above its 50 and 200 dma for at least one or two days then that will be some good and on the higher side right uh, 17 300 400 ka zone bahar nikalna chahiye so if you can see over here it's almost like a chhota sa flat base 8 9 din ka and you want a breakout not a breakdown but anything can happen global market agar dekhe to there are chances ki ha breakdown bhi ho sakta hai because us market is now in a downtrend europe under pressure mein hai distribution days are very high the good part today is even the us futures and the europe is doing well and i think uh, that's why the indian market also following the global queues did well another major problem is the fii selling it's not stopping right 2000 3000 4000 crore every day you will see that figure at the end of the day and it's continue but the good part is that the dii are able to support the market almost 60 to 80 percent of FII selling has been absorbed by the DIIs. So a lot of uh, money has been flowing from the retailer side through SIPs, and that is why DII are able to uh, to absorb the selling of the FII, and that's the reason the market is holding a bit. Um, if DIIs also start selling at this point of time, or even if they are not able to absorb the FII selling, then there can be a sharp fall in the market. other indicators crude is still trading about 100 the us dollar has reached more than 76.5 and if you can see the 10 year yield it's also at a, around 2 2.8 2.9 which is a bit higher so there are no clear indicators of a sustainable rally as of now so what you need to do is you need to give time to the market and follow the rules these are the best thing you can do so some of you might be new to the market um, new i mean in last one or two years especially two years they might be thinking that okay the market is all about rally market is all about major moves but that's not always the case there comes a some time when you need to give some period of consolidation and market is currently going through that period so it is oscillating around key moving averages right okay so let's go ahead if you look at the some of the key sectors like if you look at nifty bank so see the result were decent especially icici bank's result was good and i think axis is about to report today i don't know by the time i am talking they might have reported it so also hdfc result was okay but uh, if you can look at the bank nifty it is trading below all its key moving averages there is no clear trend in the support in for the bank nifty as well if you look at the auto though there had been some momentum in the major auto stocks but uh, yes the good part is it is trading about the key moving averages 
बट इट इज ट्रेडिंग ऑलमोस्ट एट टू नाइन परसेंट ऑफ हाइस नीचे से अच्छा रिबाउंड हुआ है ऑटो मारुति में अच्छा बाइंग आया था टीवीएस मोटर हैज इम्प्रूव फ्रॉम समवेयर अराउंड फाइव फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सिक्स फिफ्टी प्लस एंड यस आई थिंक द डिस्क्लेमर इज वेरी क्लियर दैट ऑल द इंडेक्स इज टॉक दैट आई एम डिस्कसिंग और एनी वन ऑफ अस फ्रॉम द टीम इज डिस्कसिंग इज फॉर द एजुकेशनल पर्पज ओनली टू जस्ट गिव यू एग्जाम्पल डू नॉट कंसिडर इट एज अडवाइस टू बाई योर सेल द सिक्योरिटी और इंडेक्स राइट so yes auto is a bit comfortable zone because it is trading about the key moving averages other if you see that's the nifty it the major index yes it is trading near its uh, multi days low so, so somewhere yes it is trading around its june july last year june july level so the trend if you can see all the big it players their attrition is a problem their margin is a big problem so technology cycle is going well but in between that uptrend in the technology cycle there is coming this issue the margin unka erode ho raha hai attrition bahut bad gaya hai look at the infosys they had to change some policies to control the inflation uh, to con- control the attrition yeah, inflation is a buzzword so it it was out by mistake but yes the attrition is the buzzword for it nowadays but the good thing that we saw in last couple of days so this mid cap it companies unka result thoda bahut hold kar raha hai so that is something good like persistent yesterday reported unke numbers above estimate the kpit tech ke number above estimate the so it's not that there is a major fall in the it sector's result but yes the big players having a higher weightage in the IT index as well as the Nifty Fifty are in a trouble. Okay, so now let's not discuss more on the index. We will discuss when your question comes, uh, specific index wise, or maybe the stock we can relate it to index or something like that. So let's, uh, Rucha, we can open the floor for the questions. And yes, do not repeat the question multiple times. so with me rajshekar and vakar are also there in the group so we three will try to answer all your queries and uh, head of our research mayuresh has also joined the group so he will be also be uh, giving you the answers uh, hi uh, thanks sushit for the connection uh, i'll take few queries uh, am i audible yes rajshekar you are Yeah, yeah. I'll take. Uh, Prashant has asked a question on India, not uh, viable global. Yeah, India, not 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 viable global. Yeah, India, Uh, I can see here uh, India bought. Uh, I can see clearly the stock is in under uh, selling pressure. It reached its. Uh, Raj, can you be little loud and clear? I think there is some. Okay, okay. Yeah, as you can see, the India bought chart here. It is clearly in a downtrend. Uh, stock reached its uh, key moving averages, uh, like two hundred and fifty DMA. It is currently trading uh, just above its fifty uh, DMA. uh its uh, fundamental ratings are uh, remaining higher at uh, 81 but the price trend has uh, eroded because of uh, selling pressure recently uh if you uh, can see here a number of funds have also declined uh, 20% uh, quarter on quarter basis uh, taking efficiently is not advised at this moment uh, because of uh, underperformance and given the market uh, structure uh, if you are holding the stock uh, I can uh, keep a fifty DM as it's a stop loss at this current uh, moment. Ah, uh, shit, uh, Vipo. Oh, 
Uh, chart wise, uh, both the stocks are looking similar. I can see here, uh, Vipo uh, in July, August phase, like it faced a uh, clear resistance at its uh, 100 DMA. Uh, right, right now, it, you can see it is trading uh, uh, below its 200 DMA, which is a long term support. Uh, however, uh, stocks trading uh, key, below key moving average is not a good sign for investing. And uh, you can see the price trend has also eroded. Uh, it is just at a three. That means uh, the stock has underperformed compared to the general market. Our technical friend, uh, it is uh, quite similar to the India Mart uh, setup, but uh, uh, on the uh, on the fundamental side, it is uh, uh, poised well because of its uh, uh, previous quarter endings. Uh, however, uh, uh, if it's uh, if you look at the March uh, quarter endings. Uh, uh, then we can we might uh, see a surprise uh, in its uh, sales or EPS. Maybe that is the reason stock has already priced in. Uh, I think and uh, taking a fresh entry is not advised uh, clearly because of uh, underperformance. Yeah, I'll move to the next question. Uh, there are lots of queries. Uh, I think. Uh, I'll take up the money and the sham metal as well. First, I'll take a sham metal, sir. It's a newly listed uh, company. I can see uh, uh, stock has. Uh, been trading for the last 200 days uh, and uh, you can see here uh, the stock reached its uh, 50 DMA as recently. Uh, it's a very uh, small uh, market cap company just around 8,000 uh, market cap. Uh, however, uh, number of funds have increased uh, 10% as a good sign, indicating the uh, institutions are uh, building the positions in the stock. That's a good sign. And you can see the EPS and uh, sales growth, uh, which are very good, uh, double, triple digits. Uh, it is a good indication of a growth stock. On the fundamental side, uh, the stock has a good uh, growth story. However, in the technical setup, we don't have any proper base pattern or any breakout uh, here. Now you can see there is a breakdown actually. So if you are having the stock in a model portfolio, you can consider exiting the stock. Uh, and taking a fresh entry is not advised uh, in this uh, stock. Ratna money, I'll take next. Which one, Rat? Ratna money. Ratna money was one of one of our ex portfolio stock. Uh, it had a very good. Uh, Growth story that was the reason we added to our model portfolio. Uh, he said it has broken out uh, from its uh, stage one uh, cup with handle. However, after breakout, uh, the, you can see here there is a huge uh, volatility in the stock uh, in this area. After breaking out, uh, uh, there was good uh, buying here. However, uh, that was compensated with the selling uh, as well. Currently, it has retraced towards its uh, 50 DMA. You can consider that as a good uh, pullback. Uh, however, uh, given the market structure and the high distribution they count, uh, it's a our strength is also at uh, 50. Uh, now it is not the uh, right time to take uh, aggressive entries in the stocks. However, uh, if the situation was good on, on the market front, uh, you could consider this as a aggressive entry. However, uh, now at this current juncture, uh, it's better to wait uh, for the stock to form base and. Uh, Give a clear breakout. Thanks, Rachel. I'll take a few. Please don't repeat uh, your queries. We will try to answer as many as possible as there are told. There is a question on TV18 broadcast. Okay, so for broadcasters, the ad revenue is increasing, right? So and please do not turn on your cameras. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, for these guys, the ad revenues are increasing. 
and also especially the after the covid and so there were some you know talks during the covid that tv wala habit change ho jayega tv channels ko utna revenue nahi milega but that's not the case that that theory has been at for the time being proven wrong and the ad revenue on the television is increasing plus uh, their margins have improved the profitability of the broadcaster tv in broadcast has improved and uh, also if you look at the voot right the the voot app is scaling up well and it's unlocking the values and uh, the broadcasting rights and ipl and all the things so a lot of things are going on so they have this voot voot kids and voot select uh, so a lot of uh, uh, entertainment uh, things are over there with in the portfolio uh, if you look at it technically there was a very good move over the last 2 3 months after the breakout but i think there was a sudden reversal today I'm not sure raj do you know the reason i am not sure for today's fall so i can't comment on this that why it was down 16% today yes it has uh, been even i'm, I'm not uh, even of the news what happened Okay. Major, it's a news-driven uh, event. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. So yeah, it it has breached its twenty twenty one and fifty DMA on a single day. Volume is also very high. So today, the technical structure has been disturbed at this point of time. Otherwise, it was good till the time it was holding the fifty DMA. So see, if you look over here also, these are the good sign of a potential rally. The fifty DMA pe exit support leke wahan se. हाई वॉल्यूम पे रैली मार दिया सो दैट कंटिन्यूज फॉर सम टेन फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी परसेंट मोर सो दिस इज अट आइडियल हियर ऑल्सो इफ यू कैन सी आफ्टर ब्रेकआउट फिफ्टी डी एम ए तक आया फिफ्टी डी एम ए पे कॉन्सोलिडेट किया एंड देन इट अगेन रैली फ्रॉम दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बट एट हियर इट ट्राई टू रैली फ्रॉम द फिफ्टी डी एम ए बट फेल हो गया एंड दैट ऑल्सो ऑन दी हायर वॉल्यूम सो द टेक्निकल स्ट्रक्चर इज ऑलरेडी डिस्टर्ब सो अकॉर्डिंग टू ओन इन मेथोलॉजी whenever these key moving averages especially 50 dma is breached on the higher volume we tend to exit that stock according to our methodology and if you look at the other thing it found resistance near this 80 zone like 75 80 zone couple of times and it is also have a has a good gain from its pivot so ideally 20 25% 30% gain and whenever the market is in under pressure or downtrend your bull run market so you should lock your profits when it is about 20 25% and yeah on the flip side if the market does well and so result is in next 5 days if something positive comes up in the result the management commentary is good and it forms a base over here then you can relook at this stock okay so next one we can take nokri uh, see for info edge it is in a downtrend so since it made a high in october so market ne bhi october mein high banaya tha aur ye nokri ne bhi similar time pe high banaya tha and since then it is in a clear downtrend पहले 50 डीए में ब्रीच हुआ फिर 200 डीए में भी ब्रीच हुआ एंड करंटली इट इट हैज रिक्लेम्ड इट्स 50 डीए में ब्रीफली टुडे एंड इट इज स्टिल ट्रेडिंग ऑलमोस्ट 15% बिलो इट्स 200 डीए में सो टेक्निकली नॉट दैट स्ट्रांग बट आ फंड्स ने भी सेल किया है स्टॉक को बट द रिजल्ट्स आर कंसिस्टेंट देयर इज नो मेजर इशू विद द रिजल्ट्स आई थिंक इफ यू कैन सी द लास्ट 3 क्वार्टर्स सो Technically, buyer demand बहुत कम है Price trend 14 is very weak. So the only part is the EPS. But not you should only go for the EPS. Let the technical improve. Whenever you are trying to take a fresh entry, look for the कुछ अच्छा setup होना चाहिए. Look for a good setup like cup with candle, double bottom, flat base consolidation. At least 200 BA में एक बार reclaim कर ले. वहाँ पे एक base बनाता है. Then that will be a good setup for the stock. and yes if someone is holding it then it's it's already late because that's what i am telling 200 dma 50 dma these are very strong supports whenever it is a good stock but when that support is breached on a higher volume 
और वहां से स्टॉक गिरने लगता है देन इट इज द गुड टाइम टू बुक योर प्रॉफिट और कट योर लॉसेस and if someone has taken position recently and the question is not there when so they can follow a stop loss rule maybe 5 6 7% 8% 8%, 8 is our rule but it's through pivot so yahan pe 50 dma ka stop loss leke someone can look for it okay ushit i'll take a few minutes now uh, i'll start with iex uh, jay kumar has asked her. actually there are lots of queries uh, we are picking it randomly and uh, it's not any uh, it's not like that we are picking only specific stocks uh, uh, but uh, and other basis we are taking stocks and we try to explain our methodology by taking uh, stock examples so ix uh, as you can see the daily chart here uh, the stock of bridge is 200 dma today uh, as the stock was down around 2% uh, today uh, in the recent uh, past uh, in february as well uh, the stock reached 200 dma just for one day after that uh, it had a good rally around 20 25% now also we can expect uh, the stock to reclaim its 200 dma but uh, the volume has been on the upper side today uh, then that indicates uh, institutions have also exited uh, the stock today i can see here a uh, number of funds have also declined uh, around uh, 1.2% uh, on quarter quarter basis uh, indicating uh, institutional funds uh, uh, exiting their positions and uh, technical of it uh, you can uh, you all know the business it's a very uh, big and energy exchange in india it has reported very good numbers on both sales and eps front um, growth uh, numbers have been uh, significantly higher Uh, double digits around 30 to 40 percent growth quarter on quarter basis, which is a very good sign. That is reflected in its EPS strength of 94. However, because of a slight underperformance in the recently, uh, starting from uh, 2022 around January, uh, the stock has uh, breached its uh, 50 DMA, and then uh, today it breached its 200 DMA. That is the reason uh, its uh, RS have also deteriorated to 53. and buy demand has also slightly lower at c plus we would want buy demand around a, a a plus b is also fine but c is not uh, not so good uh, on technical front uh, if you are having the stock you could have exited the stock uh, today because of a 200 dma breach i can uh, if you are not exited i can wait for tomorrow's action and uh, let's see if the stock uh, sustains below its 200 dma then Uh, kindly exit the stock however uh, if it reclaims that level we can consider to hold it for uh, for the upside uh next i'll take bl bharat electronics so i can see here it's a moral put for stock so it, uh Our premium customers would have added it to our model portfolio. You can see uh, the stock was up around seven point six percent. We added it on the first week of April after a breakout from uh, stage three consolidation base. It had a good run after uh, breakout, uh, but recently last one week uh, there is some uh, profit booking happening in the stock. Uh, you can see here the volume is also trading up, which is a good sign. that is the reason we are continuing to hold it hold in the stock uh, fundamentally the stock has been reporting very good numbers uh, that is uh, that is reflected in cps of uh, 92 and the technical front also it has been doing very good uh, you can see here it has uh, formed the blue dots as well uh, indicating rs uh, making new high these are the couple of reasons why we added the stock to our moral portfolio the one more reason was uh, number of funds uh, increased uh, 13% Uh, that means that means uh, institutions new institutions have taken positions in the stock and uh, it can come to hold it uh, for uh, further upside uh, on the downside you can keep uh, 50 dma uh, that is uh, around uh, 12% from here however if you are uh, not so risk taking uh, appetite then you can keep a uh, stop loss around its pivot of uh, 228 227 level Raj, yeah, uh, I can take in some queries now. Okay, Bakar. Yeah. Arshit, can you give me Cube Investments? 
Solo un Ya. So yes, the stock is forming a stage one cup base super on the count front if you look at it uh, one and the number of fund holding for the stock is also increasing at 24.87 percent uh 96 of eps rating shows uh, the kind of uh, the fundamental profile the company has been displaying if you look at the bottom left you can see i mean this even the sales and the profit the sales in the last few quarters have been growing in a double digits and similarly with uh, EPS as well. If you talk on the technical front, uh, RS rating of 63 is fair, but uh, if you look at the right hand side or the accumulation of side of the cup, uh, the stock has been accumulating on uh, good volumes and plus even the RS lines are, uh, uh, the RS line is trending higher and the stock is clearly trading above with all its key moving averages. So on the company profile and the fundamental profile, the company is mainly into three verticals like engineering, metal foam products, and your bicycle. Uh, the upper two have uh, the bulk of the share. Uh, engineering division on 44%, metal product, uh, foam products around 34%. And it is a market leader in the Indian segment in the CDW tubes, as well as your auto, uh, automotive drive chains, cam chains, and your industrial chains. So, uh, talking about the business profile and the fundamental profile, it's, uh, uh, it's a super company. So let's see how the company behave, uh, how the stock behaves around its pivot and whether it's able to give a clean breakout or not. So the pivot at the moment is 9% from there. Uh, the next stock I'll take, Rushit, is um, GNFC. Yes, so I mean the stock looks extended from uh, I mean from the pivot at the moment like sixty four percent from the pivot. Uh, uh, Shit, can you give me the uh, stage count? Uh, stage count five. Oh, so a very high stage base. So uh, clearly not recommended by the uh, O'Neill perspective. So four or uh, like uh, higher are considered late stage uh, basis for us. Even if all the other profiling looks good in terms of your earnings growing your uh, number of funds uh, holding increasing, your RS rating increasing, your uh, your moving average is moving higher and uh, everything. But if uh, the stock, uh, if your uh, stage count is higher, it is not clearly uh, advised by us to think about any entry into the stock. One who has uh, uh, had made entry into the stock earlier or at the current moment as well, uh, can probably uh, use uh, if uh, ventured uh, recently can use the seven to eight percent stop loss rule. If uh, uh, earlier, uh, then probably can use the fifty DMA as your uh, stop loss for the stock. Uh, the other would be uh, KPIT. Is KPIT taken? I think KPIT. So yep. Uh, so KPIIT announced its uh, results yesterday, which was uh, stellar numbers in terms of the CC revenue growth or even the uh, Indian revenue growth. Uh, anything we talk about, margin expansion was there. Margin was around 18.6% 18, 18 uh, EBITDA margins for Q4. Even uh, the future outlook given by the company remains really strong in terms of uh, CC revenue growth of 18 to 20 uh, percent your uh, for FI 23 margin guidance of around 18 to 19 percent volume growth of around 25 uh, percent. Uh, they're seeing a high rise of autom automation in the automobile uh, sector going forward, which is their uh, key and uh, can be seen in yesterday's stock price, uh, which the company was able to reclaim uh, its uh, 50 DMA as well on higher volumes. But uh, looking at uh, today's action, the stock is remaining uh, volatile. So let's see how the stock behaves around its uh, key moving averages and uh, whether and where it's able to settle at the moment. If we look at from the from the pivot perspective, uh, the stock is 48% uh, from the pivot. Uh, so till the stock stabilizes around the 50 DMA, uh, above the 50 DMA or uh, above the moving averages, uh, any new entry would not be uh, advised uh, for the stock. Thanks, Vakar. I can take... Okay. 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 So yeah, there has been a major fall in this stock. 
so if you can see somewhere in october it gave a breakout but it was a failed one so that breakout failed and after that it again tried to rebound but around similar level wahan pe fir se fail ho gaya and then it went ahead to breach its 50 and then 200 dma and it's almost 50 to 60% of its recent highs okay usne 195 90 there was a lot of expectation that this will give a good leverage to this stock that uh, the the experience of the and the liquidity of embassy group their current project so that's why the ib real was in momentum but let's see how the merger t- turns out and uh, what will be the benefits at that point of time how they how they are doing the merger so that will be important to watch out and that's the reason Uh, the stock is uh, no very important event is that if you look from the project side so that has been doing quite well jo unke abhi recent ke residential projects hai the ongoing projects hai if i name a few embassy 1 then embassy lake so these these are some of the very good projects also the golf city and uh, one india bull they are doing now in thane also so from the mumbai thing these guys might be knowing that india bull one elfinstone ke paas hai aur abhi thane ke paas bhi they, they are building the things fir goregaon mein bangalore mein bhi wo log expand kar rahe hain so overall expansion is good unka project on going acha hai but if i discuss a common thing about the real estate players right not only for the india bull real estate ki unka input cost bahut badh gaya if you look at the prices of steel and cement so you might be happy ki ha steel ke price badh rahe hai apni steel company ko kya price badh raha hai portfolio mein profit ho raha hai but similar time you should remember that these companies use the steel cement as a lot so if if you analyze almost 65 to 70% top zone ka cost hota hai that is related to raw material this material cost and labor is somewhere around 25% and the other 5% is fuel and the other miscellaneous cost so sab kuch bada hai if you and major chunk fuel to bada hi hai 5% 65 to 70% wala material cost almost 15 to 20% bada hai right so overall jo bhi unka cost hai jo majorly kya hota hai ki jo project completion pe hai that is not a major issue usme to acha benefit bhi milega kyunki market ko pata hai ki ha prices bade hai to they can able to get the more prices for that project if the portion is unbooked but jo ongoing project hai jo under construction hai that that will be in a major issue because uske liye liquidity bhi utna excess chahiye abhi aapka kharcha 15% badh raha hai to uske liye utna liquidity aapko aur arrange karna padega and there is already liquidity crunch in the real estate sector though it has been less nowadays abhi thoda last year project sell out acha tha but ओवरऑल इट डज इम्पैक्ट क्योंकि उनको ज्यादा लोन लेना पड़ेगा लिक्विडिटी लेना पड़ेगा 15 परसेंट कॉस्ट बढ़ा है तो वो कस्टमर को पास ऑन करना पड़ेगा एंड देन देर आर चांसेस दैट द पर्सन वॉज लुकिंग फॉर अ प्रॉपर्टी दे माइट डिले द परचेस ड्यू टू दी प्राइस हाइक सो अगेन देर विल बी इन्वेंटरी बिल्टअप सो ड्यू टू फियर ऑफ दिस साइकल बिकॉज ऑफ हायर रॉ मटेरियल कॉस्ट दीज स्टॉक्स आर अ बिट अंडर प्रेशर and yes especially for the india bulls there is a event as well so both the things are parallelly together over here i will take one more hal so yeah vakar has discussed about the bel so it's, it's about you know the defense sector uh, these stocks are in momentum if you look at the group rank of the defense stock that has been really good so since last few months or you can say a year since the time the government is more focused on uh, local production of the defense goods and they are also trying to export it these all stocks have been in momentum and if you specifically look at hal bahut sare projects inko mile hai not only from the defense side but isro se bhi mila hai i think they have signed one contract for 
ESLV or something with, along with LNP in partnership with them. So the order book is very strong. Execution bhi achha ho raha hai and the future order book prospects are very strong. So that's the reason these stocks are in momentum. If you look at the current setup, third stage se breakout hua tha and after that the stock has went up around 15 to 20 percent but I think with the market currently it is consolidating. But the good part is that it is holding its 21 EMA and it is still trading some 10 percent to 20 percent above its 50 and 200 DMA. So if 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 it happens that market yahan se aur weak jata hai, downtrend mein jata hai, nifty 500,000 points ka aur fall aata hai, then it might test its 50 DMA or even further to 200 agar market aur bhi weak hai. And that's what we try to communicate through our daily big picture that whenever the market is in under pressure, the stocks that are extended from the key moving averages like maybe 15%, 20% from 50, 200, 50 DMA especially, so there is a, even a small pullback over there that can be of 5 to 10% possible. Because generally 21 or 50 DMA test karta hai koi bhi stock whenever the market is in a downtrend. Yeah, if there is some new specific exceptional result, then there is a chance that it can move against the market. But other good thing over here, the fund holding has increased, the results have been consistent. ROE has increased very good. Now it's almost 21%. So that's a good deal. Buyer demand is great. Price strength thoda weak ho gaya abhi. But overall the EPS uh, as well as the proof rank is fine. So someone who is holding the stock, uh, trail your stop losses. Someone who wants to take a new entry, either way, wait for a 50 DMA pullback. Agar market niche aata hai, to 50 DMA pullback. Agar upar jata hai, then this might form a new base over here. Uh, somewhere between 1600 to 1800 that that's how the chart looks like so wait for a breakout from that base so these are the two things you should mark over here okay tcs so we will discuss a bit on it sector i will quickly you know, check the technicals of tcs because the results have been discussed a lot for the tcs so yes it has reached its 50 and 200 dma Similar to market is ka movement hai, gap down hua, uske baad pichle no session se it is trading in a range 200 or 50 DMA ka around oscillate ho raha hai. Right. Buyer demand is very poor. Uh, so see, if you can look over here, this is, this is what something you should look when you are looking at chart. Ki yaha pe jab ye stock high bana ke gir raha tha, look at the volume. The falling volume was very high. फिर जब यहाँ पे थोड़ा stock ने hold किया, it reclaimed its 50 and 200 DMA, uh, the volume was not that great. If you can see in this patch, the blue lines, that is the stock closed on the higher side. But the volume was not that high if you compared it with the volume on the downside. Now, again, if you look, whenever the stock was falling, right, it fell for 2-3 days, you can see the volume was again high. But अभी जब एक दो दिन से थोड़ा संपलने का try कर रहा है, then the volume is low. So this is not what you want in a chart. You generally want ki higher days pe volume high hona chahiye and lower days pe volume low hona chahiye. So again over here, you need to give time technically, right? Let it reclaim its key moving averages. Let the stock complete its base. So if you can see it is forming a stage 2F base. So breakout ke baad wo zyada bad nahi pa raha hai. It is, it is forming base on base on base. Generally, kya hota hai ki stage 1, 2, 3, numerically stock badhte hai. The reason being numerically stage increase is that uh, stock has increased 20% or more from the breakout point. So at, for that, the base count is 1, 2, 3, it goes like that. But if the stock is going up less than 20% after a breakout, then you go alphabetically. Let's say if the stage 1 breakout tha, dusre mein, then you can say 1A. Similarly, if not again 20%, then 1B. So this is forming a 2F base. So it means every time after breakout, it is not giving that strong momentum. And yes, technical indicators are weak. Give, give some time to the stock as well as the market. Okay, next. BPL. 
Yeah, BEPL one was our portfolio stock, but uh, that's where the you know the risk management designed by William O'Neill comes to your help. We were out at some six seven percent of loss when this fall started. Yeah, se jab reversal hua, then we exited the stock, and then see what happened to the stock. Unka margin se wo kam aa raha hai. It's back to back two poor result. Iske pehle ke quarter ka result bhi kharaab tha. इस क्वार्टर का रिजल्ट भी खराब है यू कैन सी द डिसम्बर एज वेल एज दार्च क्वार्टर उनका सेल्स भी कम हो गया है एंड इफ यू कैन सी दंड होल्डिंग बहुत गिर गया है एटीन परसेंट नंबर ऑफ फंड कम हुए हैं एंड समवेर अराउंड थर्टी फाइव परसेंट शेयर हेल्ड बाई फंड कम हो गया है हियर ऑल्सो यू कैन सी डाउन डेज पे एकदम हाई वॉल्यूम आता था so the price trend is very poor buyer demand is poor so ideally you should avoid this stock and if someone has been holding stop loss bahut jaldi aa gaya tha that is why risk management is very important enter at a proper time breakout ke baad entry lo 6 7 8 percent 8 percent is maximum stop loss dal do that's the best thing to do sometime it happens ki ha reversal ho gaya बाहर निकल गए देन दैट इज फाइन लाइक यू आर नो वन इज यूर टू विन हंड्रेड परसेंट बट टू मैक्सिमाइज द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ विनिंग एंड मिनिमाइज योर लॉस और योर कैपिटल इरोजन को मिनिमाइज करने के लिए द प्रॉपर रूल्स द रिस्क मैनेजमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस इज अ क्लासिक एग्जाम्पल बी पी एल दैट यू शुड बी केयरफुल नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अ फ्रेश एंट्री यू नीड टू गिव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम दोनों से इम्प्रूव होना है फंडामेंटल्स भी इम्प्रूव होना है एक दो क्वार्टर के लिए एंड टेक्निकल्स भी इम्प्रूव होना है And so it is almost trading, you know, we say 25% below 200 TMA with a weak fundamental profile. If you are holding that stock, then it has already again reached its 50 TMA volume. Being a bit recently high, tha, then you should not you know, try to hold it more. Okay. So I'll take the yeah. I'll take some queries. Okay. Okay. uh so we saw a query for uh, nosel from there yeah nosel so like uh, nosel is into rubber chemicals like mostly uh, it's kind of a monopolistic uh, or a market running in india if we talk about it the company has like around 42% domestic market share in the the chemical segment uh, that goes into tires uh, currently which is uh, less than 35% pre covid so there are other smaller companies as well who do the same stuff but uh, i mean the if you talk about uh, the major player nosel remains the major player and the uh, rest gets uh, imported uh, from uh, china and uh, south korea and other companies so uh if we talk about the con call takeaways from them in their uh, recent call i mean uh, they are expecting the indian tire uh, industry to grow at like around 13 to 15% in volume terms uh followed by a stable uh around 8 to 9% between fi 23 and uh, 25 even uh, the company currently has an export share of 33 to 35% which they want to increase it to uh, 40% in the long term their uh, capex plan is over so they have uh, double their capacity to uh, to 110 mtpa now uh, and the company used like real uh, in term, uh, even in the fundamental front if you look at the last 3 to 4 quarters the company is giving stellar growth but uh, that's not getting uh, reflected in the price mainly because of uh, margin pressures if you look at it the company is uh, a commodity play so uh, the, uh, the input cost is a commodity so it's not completely a pure play commodity so that's why the margin pressures are there uh, and currently it's a trade hovering around it's like uh, 21 dma at the moment uh, and even the tra- uh, the moving averages are tra- uh, trading downward uh, you can clearly see the stock is well below its uh, 200 D- dma and it's not able to form any base uh, the price trend is poor there is no institutional interest for the stock at the moment so Uh, on those front let the uh, developments happen let the stock reclaim its 200 dma let let it form a new uh, new base according to william o'neil methodology and then probably break out so 
uh, structurally the uh, company remains strong uh, but uh, uh, on the margin pressure front and all uh, and even on the price front let it show some kind of uh, uh, development first then uh, can be a good play going forward the other stock uh, uh, recently gna axel which one gna axel GNA, GNA Axel. Yeah. So again, if you look at on the price front, in the last six months, if you look at it, uh, the stock has been going only in one trajectory, that is uh, on the downward. And similarly, the RS rating and the RS line is also going downward. Uh, with the your uh, the moving average is line as well, and the stock is well below its uh, 200 uh, DMA. So if we uh, try to talk about any stock, like as per, if the stock has breached its 200 DMA, then more or less the story behind the stock uh, is over or is about to get over. I mean that is the uh, very important line uh, in terms of for any company or any stock. So let the stock uh, reclaim its 200 DMA. And uh, yeah, like even on the EPS front, you can see that this quarter was not really good for the company. And the number of funds holding is also uh, decreasing for the stock. Uh, can be because of uh, the pain uh, going on with your automobile sector. So uh, GNA Axles is related to your automobile sector. So uh, if the automobile sector revives, the automobile sector picks up again. The allied companies like your GNA Access will also uh, pick up again. Uh, so I can take as uh, Triveni Engineering. So really a. I mean, even in this market, a really classic uh, play on uh, uh, blending cycle at the moment. So talking about your EPS trend, your RS rating, your buyer demand, all in the superb zone, even the group rank of four. So, I mean, this group uh, of companies has been really doing well. So, I mean, but the stock is not, uh, is not forming a base at the moment. So any fresh entry would be difficult. And, uh, and the stock is like 61% uh, off uh, from the pivot at the moment. And number of funds holding is also increasing steadily at 29% uh, uh, share held by fund is also increasing. So overall, fundamentally, technically a very good stock, but uh, I mean, a difficult uh, to talk about the entry point at the moment. So I mean, that's the only thing. Even uh, in terms of alternate entry, even if we talk about it, uh, the, it's not uh, showing any signs of uh, alternate uh, entry also. I mean, even the reclaim of averages was not on uh, above average volumes. Which is it taking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take Voltas. Okay. So you can see the stock is consolidating and forming a stage <clears throat> three consolidation base. So since October, uh, when the market made a high, the stock has not fallen much. If you can see from that point of time, uh, it, it tested its uh, 200 DMA, but it didn't close below its 200 DMA. So that's something good to see. The demand is very good as far as the ACs are concerned. Though the, the prices are higher, the inflation is higher, and the AC companies have taken the price hikes. But uh, in this summer, you can see there is a record break hit in a lot of places in India. And that's the reason the AC sales have, have been you know, higher. Plus, the home stay has, the time of home stay has increased, right? And that's why the, not only the commercial, where you, you do require ACs, but even from the you know, residential, the demand of AC is higher. And if you look at the Voltas, so it has launched a 
very good range of ACs. Their marketing strategy has been good. Recently, they they are more focused on that pure air inverter ACs and marketing campaign ka acha chal raha hai. So they are bringing this new innovations like uh, you might have seen that ad that ghar le aao pahado wali hawa and all those things. So the, there is a lot of traction for the Voltas AC and the brand. along with the tata is also strong so they are able to take a very good advantage of increasing demand in the space and that's the reason the stock is holding <clears throat> quite well but uh, you know the raw material cost how very high and that is one reason that is this the stock is not moving too much or the momentum itna pick up nahi ho raha hai kyunki rom price pass on kiya hai but itna bhi pass on nahi kar sakte because then it will impact a bit of demand so that's the reason inka price mein itna action nahi dikh raha hai otherwise the demand as scenario has been quite well but let's see how the management commentary of uh, this time comes up inka abhi margin kaisa aata hai and what management comments on the raw material cost or unka input cost cost control kaise kar rahe wo log <clears throat> uh, along with the demand this margin front and i think if market likes that so there are high chances ki yahan se breakout de sakta hai if market is in a good shape because buyer demand of b minus is decent like it's it's you know still something in a very neutral zone it's not poor uh, rs 48 hai but wo hold kar raha hai in the weak market and eps strength of 77 is fair enough so this quarter result and the commentary is very important for the voltas Okay, so next, let's take uh, Graphite India. Here you can see there is a technical damage. It's uh, the stock is almost thirty-five uh, percent off highs, and it is currently oscillating near its key moving averages, like two hundred. Who which may reclaim Kia Ta on a higher volume, but it failed to hold that. Again, I think yes. On April nineteen, it tried to reclaim, but fir se fail ho gaya. So in la, in just one month, it failed to you no know, trade above its two hundred DMA twice. But the good part is that it is holding its fifty DMA, and the volume on the higher side is good. So what I like about this stock is the buyer demand. But uh, I like that only one thing. But what I don't like is this very poor. Relative strength, no technical base formation, no strong base नहीं बना है. And यहाँ पे अगर आप देखें तो जैसे कि यहाँ पे एक strong rally हुआ था and then it it fell from the high, but there is no clear base formation over here. So also the number of funds have reduced over the last quarter. So give it some time, let it uh, no it is holding from its low. जो यहाँ पे 400 के round low बनाया था, from that point of time it is holding. And above its 50 DMA, a near 200. But let's see how the technical improves and this quarter, how the result comes out and what are the development taking place around that point of time. So let it form some base structure, and then only you should look for a fresh entry in the stock. And if you are holding the stock by any chance, then 50 DMA, as I always tell that that's the Line that O'Neill used to always track. If a breach of 50 DM on a higher volume, you should cut loss or book profit. A BAC. That's two BAC. Yes. After the breakout from its base in March, you know it hit power to pivot. Very good return. वहाँ से low volume पे consolidate किया. so the setup is excellent as far as the bsc is concerned so this is what i was talking about that you should look for something like this high volume pe buying kiya aur jab pull back aaya and the stock is consolidating jab wo gir raha hai so let's look at the volume that has been very low very very low volume so this is some positive setup for a stock uh, so it found a support near its 50 dma and uh, today uh, it uh, rebound from that point of time so this this you know gives you a alternate buy point let's check on weekly as well 
या वीकली पे भी सिमिलर है फिफ्टी ये लाइक टेन एम ए ब्रिज किया था एंड देन इट अगेन रिक्लेम इट टूडे वॉल्यूम या वॉल्यूम वॉज नॉट दैट ग्रेट सो दैट इफ इफ टूमोरो वेरी हाई वॉल्यूम कम्स एंड इट इट हैज रिक्लेम इट्स फिफ्टी डी एम ए then according to onil metrology it provides a alternate by zoom but yes you will need to also look at the other factors that when is the results coming and how is the market condition if you see market heading one more distribution day market going in down trend then you should avoid it long term if you see structurally story is really good for the bsc राइट उनका जो म्यूचुअल फंड स्टार म्यूचुअल फंड स्टार म्यूचुअल फंड है एक्सचेंज का वॉल्यूम बढ़ रहा है दे आर गोइंग इन टू द कमोडिटीज एंड द नंबर ऑफ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स इन द एफ एन ओज इंक्रीज सो ओवरऑल फॉर ऑल द एक्सचेंजेस नॉट ओनली बी एस सी लाइक ऑल द स्टॉक मार्केट मार्केट रिलेटेड स्टॉक्स यू माइट हैव सीन दैट देर इज अ वेरी गुड मोमेंटम बिकॉज लॉट ऑफ रिटेल इन्वेस्टर का फ्लो आया है देर वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑन सी डी एस एल एज वेल सो सिमिलर लाइन सी डी एस एल नंबर ऑफ अकाउंट इतने बड़े हैं right uh, so the record growth i think highest uh, ever in the last year itna account naya open hua so uski wajah se all these bsc cdsl and the broking stocks they all are in a momentum so their margins are increasing their revenue is increasing plus new flow to aa raha hai it is not like the our flow of retail investors have stopped day by day the penetration is increasing because we are under penetrated if you compare india with us or china like we we are very much under penetrated as far as the stock market exposure is concerned and now the awareness is increasing this as a investment option now the fp rates are not that attractive the young generation is moving towards the market to park their money and that's the reason a lot of flow is coming to the mutual fund industry as well as the direct equity market and that's helping these guys so technically bsc is improving but some volume is important to come gujarat alkali so uh, additional disclaimer over here that uh, this is the part of our modal portfolio and we are at a very good gain so we we added it this breakout over here on march 28 and since then the stock did really well so after the breakout it went up to somewhere around 974 then there was a brief period of consolidation 21 em a test kiya and then it again made a new high so tuesday ko it it went above 1000 mark on a weekday a uh, weekday in the market and that's really strong action from this uh, since last two day it it has been you know higher volume pe thoda fall aa raha hai but let's see if it is not able to hold its key moving averages uh, we may consider uh, profit booking in this stock but otherwise the trend is very good if you can see it is trending almost 25% above its 50 dma but jab tak 21 ema hold hota hai then that is a good sign plus you can see uh, the earnings सुपर अर्निंग इस बार भी मार्जिन बढ़ सकता है इसका एंड द नंबर ऑफ फंड होल्डिंग नंबर ऑफ शेयर हेल्ड बाई फंड एवरी थिंग हैज इंक्रीज फॉर गुजरात आल के लिए बट फ्रेश एंट्री एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इज नॉट सजेस्टेड इन द स्टॉक इफ यू आर होल्डिंग द स्टॉक लेट एंट्री किया है देन इट माइट बी टफ फॉर यू टू होल्ड इन दॉलेटल मार्केट बट इफ यू एंटर एट अ प्रॉपर टाइम देन यू हैव अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम next we can discuss dalamya bharat okay yeah. so this one is again in a downtrend september mein high bana diya tha even before the market top the stock had made its high and since then there has been a continuous selling so ek sath gira tha yahan pe 2500 ke baad seedha 1900 tak wo gira tha it had breached 50 dma then you can see it failed to reclaim 50 dma for a couple of time again then oscillated around 50 and 200 dma and finally gave a breakdown from that point the sales growth 
not that good and if you can look on yeah consolidating basis earnings bhi itna acha nahi hai so eps jo uska around 33 tha march 21 mein wo december 21 mein around 3.5 ho gaya gir ke right so fundamental thoda pressure mein hai stock and anyways raw material cost bhi kafi sara increase hua hai for these companies and yes it is struggling to move higher the good part over here is ki yahan pe ek acha accumulation hua if you can see from 1300 टू सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड वाला जोन में तो वॉल्यूम पे एक्यूमलेशन हुआ एंड नाउ वेन इट इज कॉन्सोलिडेटिंग एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम सो द वॉल्यूम इज लो सो दिस इज समथिंग पॉजिटिव फॉर स्टॉक विच आई कैन से ओनली वन थिंग रेटिंग्स पुअर है बट यू कैन सी दायर डिमांड और दायर रेटिंग हैज बीन बेटर सो गिव इट सम टाइम थोड़ा फंडामेंटल इम्प्रूव हो जाए एक बार टू हंड्रेड डी एम ए रिक्लेम करके बेस अच्छा बना ले दैट इज द टाइम यू शूड लुक फॉर दिस स्टॉक long term story no doubt is good for these stocks but you need to give time fundamentally as well as technically on both the front for this one sunil is it sector have we discussed it sector a brief at the start okay some tata stocks question let's take a couple of them so if you look at tata chemicals yeah we will take one or two questions and then we will close the session because we are already over time so yes it is forming a stage 3 consolidation base weak market weakness mein hold kar raha hai especially in the recent weakness iska pehle jab market weak hua tha tab it had breached its 50 and 200 dma but during the recent weakness it is holding you can see the rs line is holding around 45 level stock is holding about 50 and 200 dma and that so that is something good so over here you can see there is uh, this uh, 1020 to 1050 zone right couple of time it fell from that point of time and if you can see the pivot level is somewhere around 1158 so wait for the ratings to improve uh, rs thoda poor hai let the result of uh, this quarter comes in and uh, after that if the stock uh, has a very good result breakout acha hai management commentary is good so that is when you should uh, again add this to your watch list well, let me take some quick two three and we'll close i'll discuss only a quick technicals so tata motors again it is below 50 dma downtrend ho raha hai second stage base it is for me so wait for the result over here also if if someone is holding and if it it breaches 200 dma on a higher volume not a good sign for the stock right the raw material cost for these automobile companies have increased a lot otherwise the the demand thoda bahut abhi issue hai otherwise the demand was quite good for the auto but nowadays the raw material cost has been higher but uh, tata motor maruti all have taken multiple price hikes ek did ek did percent karke i think teen char bar le liya hai abhi recently price hikes so they are passing on the price but they are not able to i think fully price on pass on the prices you can look at him unilever maybe the last question for the day yes so yesterday it came up with the result so result was a beat on all the front so there was expectation ki raw material prices ki wajah se volume growth itna nahi hoga margin kam aayega do margin thoda erode hua tha if you compare on a yoy basis but it was above the estimate and that's the reason like there was a good attraction in the stock today you can see there was a high volume buying in the stock but uh, otherwise still technically it is weak aaj thoda clearly 50 dma ke upar nikla hai but it is still trading yeah 5 5 6% below 200 dma so last time also when it tried to move higher yahan pe dekhiye 24 50 25 around 200 dma was a very strong resistance for this stock but uh, yeah let's see what happens this time you should not take a early entry because still the buyer demand the price trend everything is weak and the fmcg sector as a whole is not yet out of that uh, demand scenario is not that good so is bar kya hua inflation ki wajah se generally rural mein impact hota tha zyada but uh, there are many analysis that is bar urban mein bhi thoda impact hua hai and they, they they have increased the prices i think all all the fmcg companies have increased the prices but uh, 
it's very moderate. They are not able to pass the full. And recently there was that Indonesia oil ban and all the things. So a lot of things are impacting this FMCG stocks. So wait for the fundamental technical and the market to improve. So uh, we missed a few queries. In fact, many because there were a lot and there is a you know, limitation on the time. You can always write us to Marketsmith India and we will try to respond over there. So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for joining the session. I hope it was useful to you. So again, we will meet after 15 days in the Stock Darbar session. Thank you for the joining.